A candlelight vigil tonight for two young cousins who drowned Saturday in Brockton. The boys were skipping rocks in the shallow end of Waldo Lake when both ended up in the water and later drowned. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live in Brockton tonight where that emotional vigil just wrapped up. Ken? Anna Ritis, after a difficult day at South Middle School where grief counselors helped the kids cope with the loss of two classmates, nightfall bought, brought parents here right behind that white car to the scene of the tragedy at DW Field Park. On a shoreline overwhelmed by panic and despair just 48 hours earlier, candles filled the hands of nearly 300 mourners tonight who came hoping to ease a family's pain. Look at how we come out and support each other when we need it, and that's what counts. It was Saturday night when a pair of young cousins skipping stones on Waldo Lake perished after one somehow fell in and the other tried to save him. Police divers eventually retrieved the bodies of 12 year old Tiago Lado de Pina and 13 year old Rafael Andre Nunes in 10 feet of water. It's really hard, especially as a parent dealing with well, a loss of your, of your child. I can't even imagine the pain that the family's going through. Today, the lakeside memorial of flowers, teddy bears, and balloons grew steadily, with many Brockton residents saying they felt compelled to pay their respects in person. I didn't know these kids, but they are my kids. Our spirits are crushed. We come, Lord, mourning. Tonight, the family huddled in the midst of a vigil where the mayor admitted there is no way to make sense of it all. As a parent, I don't have the answers for you. But as a Catholic and a Christian, I can tell you that Tiago and Raphael are in heaven. There was a family hug for the man who plunged into the water trying to find the boys before first responders arrived. And many of those who turned out say they just wanted the family to know that the community cares. We are the city of champions, and this is what it looks like. It was a short vigil, and several speakers struggled to find words of comfort. But the boy's aunt says it made all the difference. I just want to thank you all for all the prayers and the support. Thank you. A GoFundMe page and community efforts have so far raised more than $15,000 to pay for the boy's funeral and burial. Live in Brockton tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Just so heartbreaking.